Okay, I'm seated in the first tournament that I'm going to be recording. Um, this is uh, a nine-man table. There are two tables in this tournament, so there's 18 players. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, there's a, uh, a ranking on the right-hand side of the players that are here. And uh, so I folded my first hand. I had a 10 3 off suit. And we've got one guy, Carlitos, who's uh, slow. And I make notes of these players. I'm making a note now that he's slow. It, uh, it isn't that big of a deal. But uh, the notes can be important because. Uh, you want to make a note of who's bluffing and uh, uh, what they raise with, what they call with. Uh, as much information as you can get, uh, you can right-click on the player and click Note, and then you can enter a note about that player. And uh, when you do make a note on the player, like this uh, uh, LF... LCF 54 poker uh, they a red highlight shows up on their around their uh, around their name and uh, you can just put your cursor over that and uh, you will see that my note here is that he calls with a 2-3 suit and he's a bluffer so I mean it's pretty important to know that uh, in this place in this place he had a queen and he took the hand I've got a eight two soft suit. I'm gonna fold it. So anyway, this is my first tournament that I've recorded uh, for my YouTube channel, and uh, this is just a small one. Eighteen players. Uh, these tournaments generally take about forty five minutes, but. Uh, as you can see now, uh, I've made a note of here that uh, Carlitos is slow. Uh, this uh, other guy also is, is slow. And his note says uh, he plays, he slow, oh, actually, he slow plays QQ. In other words, if he, he's got a pair of queens, he, he's, he's not going to raise with them. He's going to try and suck you in. And... Uh, if you do get sucked in, you, you you better be able to beat the pair of queens. Anyway, that's what we call a sandbagger. And that's what his note say. Slow plays Q, Q, and he's a sandbagger. Uh, you know, it, 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 it pays to pay attention to what's going on in these tournaments and what these people play with, uh, what they raise with. Uh, I have an ace do suited. So I'm going to just call because I'm in the first position. Uh, the, the position, here's the button. Here's the small blind. Here's the big blind. So I'm in the first position here. And uh, I, I'm at, any, if I play this hand, I'm a, at a risk of, of any of these other people raising or going all in. Um, I wouldn't go all in with eight players with an ace two suited but uh what do you know i flopped a flush so i have a nut flush i'm gonna check it and uh hopefully i'll get one of these other guys to bet with a jack or a ten maybe a spade okay there's a queen so there's now there's a possible straight um and I've got the, okay, so we have, uh, I'm going to, uh, I don't want to go real big, but uh, I want to make a decent sized bet here because I have a feeling he's going to call. We'll see. Yep, he called. So uh, my nut flush stood up. Now I have a. I'm, now I'm in the big blind, and uh, I had to put in 20 chips. The small blind is 10, 
I have a 610 suited, which is not bad, and especially when nobody raises. So I'm going to check here, and what do you know? I've got two, two uh, I have a four flush with a 10 at high. That is not bad. Um, I have to presume that Annie over here has a uh, pair of kings or a pair of jacks. And uh, now I, I'm going to check, and uh, I, I have to say that, you know, it, it, when there's a pair on the board, I usually abandon um, usually abandon uh, flush draws and straight draws, and, and I'm going to abandon it, so I'm going to fold. Um, there's just too much of a chance of somebody beating me with a full house. And uh, I play fairly conservative, and uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, this is a no limit hold'em game, and the whole point is not to get knocked out. So uh, I just had a two six offsuit, and I folded, even though I was in the small blind. Um, I just, you know, some people say that if you're in the small blind, you, you know, you should call everything because you have good pot odds. Well, to me, uh, I can't get enough odds with a 2-6 off suit. And uh, so anyway, this flop went uh, king 7-7 seven, seven and uh, two diamonds. So we'll see what happens here. But I want to point out now, okay, I was just in the small blind, so now I'm on, I'm on the button next time, and uh, so I'll be in a good position. But more than that, uh, the, the the button has to go all the way around the table before I have to ante again. So this helps me because I tend to play conservative. And uh, um, if I was low on chips, it would be real important. Uh, I mean, obviously, you have to play the cards that you have, but you have to judge the uh, your position on the table it has to have something to do with what you call with and what you don't call with. And uh, in any case, the... Uh, the, you know, the, the old saying of a chip and a chair means you're in the tournament. And this tournament only pays four positions. There's still 16 players in it, so we have a fair way to go. And uh, I'm currently in sixth place. I've got a 7-8 offsuit. I'm on the button. Um, I see that uh, the small blind is sitting out. Um you can pay attention to that because uh, if uh, it, 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 it may make a difference with whether you call or not. I'm going to call with a 7-8 even though it's uh, they're not ideal cards, but uh, I'm in a good position on this table. Now, I picked up a flush draw, I mean a straight draw, and uh, now I have a an open end straight draw, either a six or a nine, will give me a straight. So um, I'm going to uh, call a thirty bet and uh, hope that I get a six or a nine because I think, even though there's a pair up there, I just have a feeling that that uh, that, that nobody's close to a full house. Anyway, I, I didn't get the call. I didn't get the card I wanted. Um, and so I'm going to fold, obviously. The other option would be to try and bluff, but uh, I don't. Uh, this early in the game, um, with this many players, I don't want to bluff. Here I have a 4 7 offsuit, and uh, I'm going to fold that. Another thing I want to point out is that uh, if you put your cursor over these players, you can tell where they're from. Now, this Catman is from uh, the United States. 
Uh, this guy's from Brazil. This is another player from Brazil. This one's from Canada. And uh, this one's United States, United Kingdom, United States. Now, United States players generally tend to play just the best cards. They may play a, uh, a suited connector, like a 7 and 9. Uh, but more likely than, than not, they're going to only call with, uh, with face cards. Um, as, and they'll probably raise with an ace-king or an ace-queen. Um, whereas players from uh, Brazil, they, they tend to play what I call junk cards. And, uh, you know, it might be a 3-4 offsuit, uh, you know, a 6-10 uh, offsuit. Um, so, in the long run, the players from the United States are going to win, but you can get, you can get uh, bushwhacked by these guys that call with crap and get a, get a lucky flop. Um, I mean, you know, this is poker, and it is a game of chance. Um, and uh, sometimes the best cards don't win. I've got a king jack. I'm going to raise here, a small raise, make it 100. Because I, I, because my king jack is suited, and uh, um, here the guy from Brazil calls. The two people from Brazil called, so you know, they, I don't know. You know, like I say, they they call with with uh, what I would consider to be shitty cards. Now nobody bet that ace, so I'm gonna think my king is good, and I'm gonna bet half the pot with the king because uh, this guy's from the United States he you know well as it turns out my king was good nobody wanted to mess with me now I have a 2-9 suited uh, I'm gonna fold that you know if I was in the small blind I'd think about calling if I was in the big blind I, I was I would obviously call if, unless somebody raised but uh, here, I'm getting some good cards. Here I would have a four flush and a pair of twos. And uh, now I have a two six offsuit. I'm uh, early in the, in the hand, early in the table. So I'm going to obviously fold that. Right now this tournament is has lasted 13 minutes like I say these uh, 18 player tournaments generally run about 45 minutes hopefully I'll be in it for 45 minutes and uh, at least make a cash um, you, you, you have to pay attention to the uh, where you are in the tournament and to where the bubble is uh, obviously you know, you invest money to play in a tournament or chips in this particular case. But uh, if you break out before the bubble, um, then you you get no return. You're, what you put in was wasted. So now I see I've, they've just moved me to another table. And uh, I haven't played with uh, any of these people, or at least I haven't taken notes with them before. Um, I generally, if you right click, I'm going to, I'm going to fold the five, nine. I was going to say, if you right click on a player, you can make notes, you can block their chat, you can block their image. And I generally block all the images in a table. I, I don't know why it just, uh, uh, it, it just makes me. Uh, <laughs> some of some of the images distract from you know what I should be thinking about. Okay, now I'm in this in the big blind. I have an ace nine. It's off suited. I hope nobody raises and I get a free cards because I've already put in my. Well, now he raises a hundred. 
Uh, and this guy is from Canada. Canada players tend to be pretty aggressive. So I'm going to call the Rays with my ace nine. And uh, what do you know? We get a pair of jacks. Um, I'm not going to bluff. I'm going to check. But having an ace, okay, now there's two pair up there. And uh, an ace is... Uh, is good so uh, now I have a nine okay so I think I've got this pot with with the Jackson nines we'll see what he bets I'm, I'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna call him I'm not gonna raise but I think I've got this and I do so uh, like I say, sometimes these guys from Canada are more aggressive than they should be, you know. There too, like I say, it, it pays it, it pays to know where these players are from, and fortunately, uh, you have that information right here. Um, this Mick Tess is also from Canada. Now, I've got a pair of nines. I'm going to check because uh, I'm, I'll check to the jacks or whatever. I'm not real comfortable about playing under pairs, but uh, here, uh, okay, this is a tough one. Um, I'm going to fold just because I'm in second place and uh, I could be drawing dead. Um, this, this guy bet saying he's got a pair of jacks. Um, I had a pair of nines. As it turns out, he folded when uh, when this guy bet. So, uh, you know, I may have won that. I may not have. But the point is, I didn't waste any chips finding out the hard way. And uh, now I see I've dropped down to fourth place, which is in the money. But this tournament has a little ways to go yet. And... Uh, Seeing as how this is my first full tournament that I've recorded for my YouTube channel, um, I'm really looking forward to, to watching and listening to see how it actually turns out. Now this, uh, this guy just had pocket aces, and uh, I was talking and not paying attention. I've got a king three offsuit. I'm gonna fold because I'm still a little too early in the in in the rotation. If I was in the on the on the button or in the small blind or big blind, I would call. And uh, now I see that there's three diamonds out there. I didn't even have a diamond, so I'm really glad I didn't call this. And here again, this uh, guy from Canada. Uh, Salt, whatever his name is, he's, he's betting. He may have it something, he may not. Now I've got an A7. Um, this aggressive Canadian guy in front of me is betting. I'm going to fold just because uh, I, I can... I'm going to wait for better cards than an A7 offsuit. You know, what you really want is Ace, Ace, King, King, Queen, Queen... Uh, Jack, Jack can be kind of iffy, but, uh, you know, any, any, any face cards. Uh, now I had an A7, there's a pair of queens up. Um, queens and fours. My ace might have been good. As a matter of fact, right now I would say my ace is looking good. But, uh, we'll see. You know, a lot of they say it's the first person that that, that gets a, a bet in is most often the winner, and uh, that was the case. Uh, this this uh, this guy from Canada likes to do that. He likes to get the first bet in. You know, I folded a Jack Six offsuit. Um, if I would have known this 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 flop was going to come three, four, five, I would have called, but. Uh, you know, it, 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 you just have to play with the 
with the best cards possible, especially if you have the the, the luxury of time. Okay, now I'm I'm in the big blind. I've got a king ten suited, and uh, those are good cards. It's going to take a a good side. I'm not going to raise, but I'm going to uh, certainly call. Now I've got the king. I know this guy would have raised if he had a king. I'm going to bet half the pot because I have good cards. And, uh, okay, now uh, this guy's got a queen. Here's a king queen. Um, I'm going to bet. Uh, I'm going to bet 150. I've got a four flush. Now I've got a. I'm gonna bet again because I don't think he can beat a pair of kings with a ten kicker. Oh, look at that! He's slow played aces. And I'm really glad I didn't bet more. So now I'm down to uh, sixth place. I have a jack ten. I'm in the small bind. Uh, I'm obviously gonna call that. I mean, I am gonna call that. And what do you know, I get a set of jacks. Uh, you can't give them free cards all the time. This guy's from Canada. He might have a, possibly have a straight. But uh, I'm going to bet. And unless he got a straight, he's going to fold. Okay, so. I didn't really move up. I'm still in sixth place. Now I have an ace-10. I'm on the button. And I'm going to call this unless somebody raises. Uh, I, as a matter of fact, I'm going to raise. Um, ace-10 is a pretty strong hand. I got my ace. I'm going to bet the pot. And I think this guy's going to fold, so. Now I've got a king-queen. I've moved up to fifth place. King-queen offsuit, I'm going to call. There's only three more players at this in this particular hand. And there we go, five, six, seven. That is not a good flop for me. Uh, I'm going to hesitate a little bit. Let him make him think that I'm thinking about betting. And now, now the guy on the on, on the button is betting big. He's going. He went all in. Uh, I I'm not going to call him. But being on the button has its advantages. Um, Queen Jack is. Uh, it is it's kind of medium medium for me um, especially with four players behind me but uh, I got a queen I got the top pair I'm gonna bet and uh, this guy's from Canada a eh? and uh, he's low on chips the, these guys are both low on chips so they're not going to be chasing so this is a good call for me to make with the queen jack. Now I have a 3-5 off suit. I'm in first position. I'm going to fold. The two Canadian guys are going at it. <clears throat> Holy cow. Well, there's one less Canadian now. Uh, I can't believe that, uh, that this guy was that aggressive with a 10-2 offsuit, but uh, he flopped. He ended up with a full house, uh, and he beat the pair of sixes. I have a 2-6 in uh, big blind. I'm just going to check. Hope for a good flop. That's a fairly decent flop. Uh, I have a 
inside straight draw of a five. Of a five. But uh, I'm certainly not going to call a big bet like uh, CC Flyer just made. He's saying that he had a king or better. I've got the queen jack again. I'm in the small blind. And unless anybody raises, I'm going to call. Because I'm already halfway in. But I have this aggressive Canadian in front of me. A queen jack. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to bet half the pot. I got two pair. Now, it's possible that uh, these guys are going to chase. They might have a <clears throat> possible straight. Now, if he's got a 10, he's got a straight. What do I do? I'm going to bet 200. If he had a 10, he had me beat, but he didn't. So now I'm up to third place, and I have a pair of kings on the button. I hope this Canadian guy gets makes a big bet here, because I'm going to raise the pot 900 on a pair of kings. I, so I probably should have gone all in, but uh, I kind of want this guy to call. I doubt he will. Anyway, so now I'm in first place. Uh, I have a king jack. I'm one before the button. We're down to 12 players. Uh, when we get down to nine, actually we're down to 11 players now. Um, I've got a king jack, but I'm going to fold because uh, I'm going to just enjoy my one, number one position here for a while. Yeah, it's a good thing, too, because uh, these guys all both raised. There's two. Uh, okay, I have, holy cow. Uh, I'd have three kings if I, you know, right now I wish I would have called. But uh, I didn't want to make the call with a queen jack. I mean, a king jack. 9-7 off suit. See, we're getting down there. There's, there's only five players at this table, but uh, I still won't play a 9-7 off suit uh, simply because it's just, you know, they aren't good cards at all. If it was 9-7 suited, I would think about it. Um, Whatever I put into this pot would have been wasted because uh, I'm sure that these guys, one of these guys has me beat. Yeah, ace nine, they both had an ace. I have a king eight and I'm in the first position. I'm going to fold simply because of the fact that uh, I'm in a bad position. We're down to 10 players now. When we get down to one more, we're gonna, we'll be at the, the final table. So there will be nine players at uh, at one table. And I'm in good shape. I'm in second place with uh, with a little over a thousand uh, chip uh, lead over the next over the third place player. There's a full house on the board. Somebody's got a pocket pair, but Look at that. Okay, now we're down to nine. You got to watch out for those uh, full house on the board because, uh, um, well, you just saw um, a pair of tens beats a pair of eights. So uh, a lot of people would play. Well, these, these other guys played the... Uh, the board they played the full house on the board you know hoping that uh, nobody had a higher pair than eights 
and uh, they were wrong. So anyway, here we are. We're at the final table. I'm in position number three. Um, we're 30 minutes into this tournament. This will go faster now because the blinds are going up. Right now, the, the big blind is 400. The small blind is 200. And the ante is 25. So... I'm in a good position here because all these people are going to have to put in that the the 200. Well, actually, the, the small the, the big blind is 200. The small blind is 100. And uh, anyway, I like being <coughs> be pass having the button pass me because that means I've got a, a fair amount of hands to choose from before I have to put in the big blind again. And as it gets later in the tournament, that becomes really important because uh, the difference between 50th place and 20th place, or in this place, in this tournament, fourth place and second place is, is a big, it's a, it's a big difference. So, uh, Obviously, I want to be number one, but more importantly, I want to get into the money and be fourth or better um, when it gets down to four peak. Now, here I have an ace five. Um, I'm two positions before the blind. This guy's going all in. From he's from Canada. Oh, this is the the, the, the aggressive guy from Canada. I'm, I'm gonna fold because an ace five is just not a hand that would go all in on. And sure enough, here he's got an ace jack. My ace five would have been good. My ace five would have been good. Um, now I've got a pair of fours. I'm gonna call with a pair of fours. Uh, I, sometimes I would fold them um, right now with this flop. I would fold if somebody bets. I'm not going to bluff. I'm going to let these guys uh, bluff, their, bluff me out. And, and this guy's got the biggest stack on the tournament. He's, he's the leader. Um, and I don't blame him for betting whether he's got anything or not. I'm going to fold. Here I have a queen seven off suit. I'll fold that. And now we're down to this particular level. There's one minute left in this level. And I want to make sure that I get the big blind before the next level because it's going to be more of a big blind um, and this is uh, I, I don't usually slow play but sometimes I'll, I'll be a little slower than normal but right now I want to be fast because uh, I need to get one more hand in after this uh, before I get the big blind and like I say, right now, there's one minute in here. It's pretty soon. It's going to be less than a minute. And now I want 58 seconds. And usually these hands, uh, you know, take less than a minute. So I should be able to get this hand, next hand in. But this guy, I'm going to make a note. He's a slow player. And it's, it's likely to cost me extra money. I have a 9-7 suited. I'm going to fold right away. Hope that these guys uh, finish up within 30 seconds. This guy raised. That'll help things. Um, 17 seconds. I'm probably not going to make it, but I would have top pair if I called. I have a feeling that He's going all in. Queen, Jack, Ace, Queen. Neither one of them have a thing. But 
That hand took just long enough, so it cost me... No, what, what, oh, what happened? What happened here? Okay, so uh, that one guy busted out, so that saved me the big blind. Um, and I'm going to fold because this guy's the, the chip leader. I'm in third place. I'm in good shape. I don't need chips right now, and I certainly don't want to go up against the, the, the chip leader with anything less than a really good hand. And the jack four of hearts is not good. won't be long and this uh this tournament is going to be down to the money makers it's uh we're 36 minutes into the tournament the king two wins and now uh, we're down to five players now i've got a jack nine not good offsuit even though there's only five players now, I want, and I'm in second place now, so I'm going to fold, and uh, I want one more player to go out, if possible, before I take a chance, and... Uh, Like I say, the, the most important thing when you enter a tournament is that you make the bubble. You make it to the money. And with one player left, um, I certainly have enough chips to fold not good hands and uh, wait for a good one. Now there, there's there's two minutes left in this in this uh, level. I have the next big blind, and uh, and then I might slow down a little bit. I might slow down a little bit after I get the big blind down. Here's here's the uh, this uh, this guy is the low man on the totem pole with uh, 1,296. Um, this guy is uh, calling. And uh, I'm just going to check this. Now I've got a pair of jacks. I've got the top pair. If he doesn't bet, I'm going to bet. And unless he's sandbagging, he's going, going out. I think he'll go out. I, I don't. Th if, I think if he had a jack, he would bet. This guy's from the United States. Okay, so I just won. I'm in third place. Now I have a king ten uh, suited in the big blind, and uh, there's two callers, so that I've got really good pot odds. I'm gonna call, hoping that this uh, number one player doesn't raise. And obviously, I'm going to check. I won't be bluffing any. I don't think anybody has anything. Now I have a king. Um, I'm going to bet 400 and see what happens. I have the top pair. And unless these guys have a king, they're going out. I'm going to bet again. Put him all the way out. Okay. So now I'm in a pretty solid second place. Um, I'm on the button with the queen eight. He's going all in. I'm going to let these guys fight it out with him. I'm going out. I'm pretty sure one of these guys will call. Certainly the, the big blind will call because he's almost all, all the way in there. Okay, so the big blind won the hand. We're down to four players. I'm in the now I have a pair of sevens. 
I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna raise. I'm gonna make a fairly substantial raise, three times the big blind, which is good enough to put this guy all in. Um, and I'll take that chance with a pair of sevens. Okay. Just solidified second place. I have a 2-6. I'm in the big blind. Oh, nobody raises. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a flop. Check. I got the pair of twos. Um, I'm going to check. Simply because this guy's... Never get in a pissing match with a bigger skunk. Is is something to keep in mind. Okay, he's going to bet like he's got something. I'm going to let him have it. Simply because... Uh, I want to have better cards um, to go against him. And I'm even going to fold my queen seven here. Just as uh, a, a, a being cautious. Now I've got a pair of twos. I'm going to raise with my twos. These guys know I play conservative at this point. He's going to call. That's not good news. I was hoping they'd, they'd both fold. I'm going to bet the pot. I'm, gonna, I'm bluffing. I'm bluffing, but I raised like I had a good hand. And uh, now I have an ace four. There's only four of us. I want to call, but I'm going to pass because this guy's almost all the way in. I'm pretty sure he's going to go all in with on this hand. He did. So now it's three against two, and uh, fourth place is he's probably going to go on out in fourth place. I had an ace four. Um, I made a good decision not to call. Ace, oh boy. Kings and Queens knocks this guy out. So now there's only three of us. And uh, I have a King 8 in the small blind. I'm going to call this. I don't care what he does. I'm going to call. And hope I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check. I'm not going to try and bluff this guy. I've got an open end or inside straight draw. A 7 would give me a straight. And I think right now a 7-8 or a king would give me a winner, but I'm going to fold simply because I don't want to rely on an inside straight draw. And I'm going to fold here because a 10-8 is not good. Even with three players, uh, if, yeah, with, you know, it's like I say, I'm a conservative player. And uh, a 10-8 offsuit is not good, especially when, you know, we're this late in the game and you've got a player from Canada and a player from Brazil. Um, I would be surprised. I'm surprised that the, uh, that the guy from Brazil folded. Um, now, I've got a queen four suited and I'm in the big blind. And unless anybody raises, I'm real happy to see a flop. I have a queen. What do you know? I'm going to bet the pot. Take a chance. I don't have a good kicker, but I have the top pair. So that was a good bet for my part. I'm still in solid second place. I've got a 6-9 offsuit in the small blind. I'm still not going to get in a pissing match with the uh, chip leader. I hope this guy from Canada calls. Oh, okay, good. He's He's going to raise. <coughs> and the chip leader called him. Now, as a 6-9, I would have had a pair with a flush draw. East king okay. So now I have a queen deuce I'm going to call. They're suited. And I've got a four flush. I'm going to bet the pot. Okay. We're 
reeling in number one. I have a king nine. I'm in the big blind. Um, good. I collect with the pot. Now I have a jack deuce in the small blind. I'm going to fold. Just because I'm looking for better cards right now. I'm looking for better cards in a big bet. I have an 810 on the button. I'm going to fold them. Because I wouldn't call a raise. Right now we're 45 minutes into this tournament. And this is about how long they last. So we're getting right down there. A 9-2 suited in the big blind. He calls. He drops out. I've got top pair. Screw it. I'm going all in. Okay. No, I don't. I... Oh, he had a flush. Okay, I didn't see that. Okay, so I finished in third place. Um, my top pair lost to a flush. And uh, we can close out this tournament.